Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover mode. This is a new layer two solution. And there's a possible airdrop they just launched in the testnet. And this project is very similar to base of Combase, which is their layer two. And this project mode could fight against base on being the leader of the layer two solution with the OP stack. So in today's video, we are going to check a little bit about mode, what is this project, and then how you can start participating on their testnet that could help you to a possible airdrop in the future. If you didn't do the base airdrop yet, I invite you to cryptocurrencystate.net slash videos and search here for base. You are going to see this video and how you can participate on the base airdrop. This is a project powered by Coinbase, the layer two. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's get into it. Hi crypto fans, well I'm still traveling so I don't have my normal setup behind me. But that is not a problem. We are going to cover mode right now. This is an Ethereum layer 2 built on the Optimism OP stack. So basically they are using Optimism technology and it's designed for hyper growth. The project enables rapid application development and deployment of ABM compatible applications. On top of this, it boosts network fees 95% less than mainnet. Last week, the Mode Network team announced the launch of their public testnet, which we are going to cover on this airdrop video. And another layer 2 that used the OP stack is Base, the layer 2 of Coinbase, so we could see some competition here. And Base told there will not be a token, but Mode didn't say that yet. But these projects usually say that are not going to launch their token, or even after the token, the airdrop, and eventually they do. So we cannot trust 100% of what they say initially. And here is the, the link to the official announcement on Twitter. And this was the 7th of August. I will put it in the link to my post. So you can go here and check all the information about this launch of the testnet. A couple of technical things that I think Mod could be really a competitor of Base and many other layers to solution is that they have a revenue system. The mode mainnet will ship win the following features. The contract secure revenue. Smart contract developers will share fees that run through the contracts they deploy to the network. And also a referral revenue. Any developer, user or protocol that refers new developers, users or protocols to the network will earn a share of transaction fee revenue. So imagine that, imagine that you refer someone to use the mode network and in all the transactions that they do, interactions with the protocol, you're going to receive a fee of that. Not only the developers, which is important here on the contract secure revenue. So if you deploy a contract and people use that contract, you are going to receive a portion of that. But also if you are a user. So this is a very interesting point that they are introducing here on mode. So I think that is very interesting for the future. This is going to be only in mainnet. So it's not something that we are going to test. But again, I think this is a very innovative idea. So you as a developer and as a user can earn money from using the protocol. So now that we have some information about mode, let's go to the step by step on how you can participate on this testnet and possible airdrop. The step one and two, follow them on Twitter or X. I will still call them Twitter, I think. And the step two is follow them on Discord. We are going to need this for one of the further steps. So showing the Twitter, the Discord, so you don't miss any of the information of this amazing project. The step three is first thing you need to go and get some Ethereum on the Sepiola testnet. Remember, Sepiola testnet is like garlic Ethereum testnet, it's another Ethereum testnet. So you can request some Ethereum for this testnet from these two URLs from the sepiolafaucet.com or from quicknote.com. In your MetaMask, just for default, you have your Sepiola testnet below garlic, just need to show testnet networks. So connect to that testnet. I already have Sepiola Ethereum 
but if you don't have it, just go to one of these URLs. The first link is powered by Alchemy, so you will need to have credentials to log in, but you can do it with a Google account and log in easily. The second link, you will not need anything to do that, so you can may use that one. So after you put your address, click I'm not a robot and click on send Ethereum, you will see this. And after some minutes, you are going to receive your tokens. So now I have 0.7, they are going to give you 0.5, which is a lot for the testnet, so you are done. Step four, you need to add the mode testnet. There's two ways to do it. Here you have the official link of mode documentation, where you have the network information, so you can add it manually from the MetaMask. Or here you have the link to chainlist.org and go directly there to the testnet and add it there. So basically here you will go into click on include testnet, search for mode, add to your MetaMask. Here you have the official information, it's in Sepiola. And now you can move into the testnet if you want. And that's it, you are right now in the mode testnet. The step five, we are going to create some on-chain activity. To do this, we are going to go to the mode bridge. Here is the URL, bridge.mode.network. Let's go and connect our wallet. In this case, you only can use MetaMask. So click on next, click on connect. And we are going to go back again to Sepiola. Sepiola is where we have the Ethereum. So we are going to bridge from Sepiola into mode. I will put 0.1, that will be enough and click move funds. Of course, you will need to pay and approve transactions and the transaction is here pending. You can go and see it on the view explorer. So you will need to wait this pending transaction on Cipiola. Now you can go into the mode testnet and you will need to wait until you get the tokens here from the bridge. If you are liking this video so far, please just take 10 seconds, click the like button, click the subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss any of my airdrop videos or updates or tips to all the airdrops that you can do free to earn free money or even spending a little bit on the mainnet to get thousands of dollars like we did with Arbitrum Optimism and many other airdrops on this channel. And now you can see the transaction finish. I am mode testnet and here you can see I have 0.1 Ethereum on mode. I'm going to refresh the bridge and I'm going to connect from the mode testnet so I can do a withdraw from mode testnet into Sepiola. So you can go on forth from one network to another, but basically the bridge from the testnet work it correctly. So that was step six, where you connect your wallet and bridge some of your new Sepiola Ethereum over the mode testnet, then send it back. Repeat this a few times so you build up your transactions. Now we go to step seven, which is finally head over to your Discord. You can see the link on the setup number two. Go to the suggestion section or the testnet feedback and get some feedback to the team based on your experience. So go into that link, you're going to be sending here on testnet feedback. Here you can put some feedback now step eight, as a potential extra, you can also deploy a smart contract using third web. The guide to do that is here. So check that and using third web, you can deploy a contract that will be awesome. We did this with many other projects like CKCing and Polygoy CKABM. But here you have the documentation on how you can do that using third web. So when you're in third web, you can connect your wallet, sign the contracts, go to contract. You can see I have some contracts deployed here. Go to deploy contract. Click on token so you can deploy this kind of contract, for example. Click on deploy now. And here you can search for the testnet of mode. Click mode testnet so you can deploy the contract here. Complete the name, symbol, description and image. And then click on deploy now. This is the way to do it without code, just from the interface of their web. It's very easy to do. And you will have everything connected to your wallet. So now it's deploying the contract. And now it's adding it to the dashboard. Go down here to sign the request. And successfully deploy the contract. You just deploy a contract on mode testnet. From here, you can go to tokens section. 
and you can mint your tokens of 1 million so click on mint tokens tokens was mint successfully and here you can copy the address go to your metamask you can see here all the transactions on the mode testnet and in tokens you can import tokens place that the contract and you can see a token symbol add your custom tokens and you have there your testnet tokens on mode it's now in your wallet so now you can see my CCS tokens in the mode testnet so this is very easy to do just an additional step here for the testnet with this you already are done and the step 9 is check for more dApps or projects to interact in the near future here you have some information about that so these are tools that are currently being integrated into the mode dashboard so these are for analytics tool or many other stuff for campaigns and here you have information about the mode ecosystem what is deployed in testnet in progress and upcoming so keep the information updated on the discord but more things are going to come into this mode layer 2 solution that remember is going to make you earn money as a developer and as a user so in mainnet this could really work in the future so guys that will be all for this mode airdrop step by step remember to check my other videos ambit finance this is from binance xrp airdrop there's an airdrop on the xrp ledger this is the layer zero airdrop update 40 transactions with two dollars many other airdrops that i have been covering tips for a big airdrop on starnet many videos guys so check more airdrops there and remember to check my subscriptions i have a private discord with a lot of channels to the different main airdrops airdrops on the testnet airdrops on the mainnet for zk sync layer zero and many of the other big airdrops that we are following brc20 we have stuff about dbank that i didn't cover on youtube yet so many things happening on my discord if you are an airdrop hunter you need to join us there and if you really want to make the difference you need to use my app this is an application that i create to manage your airdrops in an organized way and apply easily to all of them with one or multiple wallets so if you are farming my app is going to serve you a lot but even if you are using one wallet but doing multiple airdrops you are going to find my app very very interesting to keep everything there instead of an excel file that is going to be a chaos guys that is all for mode a new layer 2 solution airdrop and before we leave like the video subscribe to the channel click the bell to get the notifications and i will see you in the next video bye